Hi, I'm John Robertson. I'm your volunteer librarian for Oscar. I often get asked, where is the form that I need? So I'm just going to walk you through something fairly simple here in terms of getting an e-form, both from the Oscar Canada webpage and from World Oscar and downloading it into your system. Let's have a look. So right now we're looking at the classic version of Oscar. If you don't like the classic version or that's not the version you're using, we can go up over here to the little Oscar EMR button and we can click and we can jump to the K K2A newer version of Oscar. What we're really looking at where we really want to go is we want to go to admin right here. And it's the same thing if we go back to the regular version. If we go here, we want to go to administration. Once we go to administration, we get this picture. And when we get to this picture, the next thing we need to do is we need to go over to manage eForms. Manage eForms is where we can upload, download, import, export eForms. So let's go to manage eForms. So now, there's one important difference I need to explain about eForms. eForms in general are two pieces. One piece is the code, and the other piece is the picture. The picture sits underneath. Uh, it is whatever the requisition looked like when they sent you the paper or the PDF. Uh, the code is all the stuff that goes over top of that picture so that the patient's demographics get filled in automatically and the other fancy bits like radio X buttons and all of that sort of stuff. Most of the time, what you're going to want to do is you're actually going to want to import an e-form. And when, you, when I say import, what happens there is that you get both the picture and the code. If a form is made in two pieces and you have to bring in both pieces, then you'll use upload. Upload will work to bring in what's called an HTML, which is the code, and it'll also bring in the picture, which is usually a PNG or a JPG form. So most of the time we're going to want to do the import thing. We're going to find what's called a zip file and we're going to import it and put that into our server. Occasionally, it's coming to us in two pieces. We have to upload the HTML file, and we also have to go over to the image library. And in the image library, we have to browse and find the image file and put it in. Let's go back to the eForm library. Let's go to import. And then it's going to ask us to look for the file that we need to import. So we browse and we look where we saved that file. Most of the time I say save it on the desktop simply because that's an easy place for you to find things. So go over to the desktop and then find a zip file and upload it. So I don't have any zip files here. So I'm going to have to find a zip file that I can upload and then we can import it into Oscar. So we're going to cancel this. I'm going to go to Oscar Canada. So I'm going to search Oscar Canada. And that Oscar Canada User Society, there we go. That's the place I want to go. And I'm going to, we'll do this a step at a time. So let's go to the main page for oscarcanada.org. Next, let's scroll down and look on the right-hand side. And over on the right-hand side, we've got eForms. That's where we want to go to find the zip file. So let's click on eForms. And then in eForms, we can go to eForms for download, which is the ones that have been there longer. eForms in beta testing is the ones that are put up for a couple of months to see if there's any glitches in them before we go on to move them to the permanent side. But I think maybe what we should do is we should find a form 
and see if we can upload it. So let's look for let's look for a radiology farm. See what we've got. Oh, there's a PD, PEI radiology request. Okay, let's go there. I don't live in PEI, so I'm fairly sure that this form isn't on my server. Now this one has got an HTML and a JPG file. That's what I told you about when there was two pieces to the file. That's not gonna work as well for my purposes today. I wanna find a, a zip file. So let's look at radiology again. Let's go to, there we go, that says zip file. So there's a zip file for CML radiology. Now, CML radiology, you'll notice, is in the Ontario forms. So I actually work in BC, so I'm fairly sure that this is not going to be something that's already on my server. Let's go back here to the zip file. And let's click on this zip file. Now it's going to ask me if I want to save it. So here we go. I'm going to save it to my desktop. So let's go over and find my desktop right here. And we're going to save this zip file to my desktop right there. Good. And I see that I just got a little notification that this thing is now saved to my zip file. I'm going to go back to administration. And that's back in my Oscar. There I am. I'm back in, in, in administration. Let's go browse. And I am in my desktop. So there I am right there. That's that zip file that I just downloaded from the Oscar Canada webpage. I'm going to open this and I'm going to ask Oscar to import it. Okay, so now that form is imported. If I refresh my screen, and I go to manage eForms again. There it is, CML radiology is right there. Um, I could go look for the image as well, I don't really need to. But now that form is present and I can use that for patients. If in fact it's an older form and we do need to upload both pieces, we can go back to the Oscar Canada webpage we can go and find that PEI radiology form again. Click on that. Now it gives me two bits. It gives me a file that's got an HTML at the end of it, and it gives me a file that's got a JPG at the end of it. So there's the HTML file. And I'm just going to click here on HTML again. And it's going to ask me if I want to open it or if I want to save it. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to save it to the desktop. So there's my desktop again. I'm going to save this file to the desktop. OK, I'm going to go back up one level. And we're going to find the JPG file. Sometimes they're PNG files. That doesn't matter. JPG, PNG, they're both images. And we're going to save this file as well to the desktop. OK, both of those things are now saved to my desktop. Now I'm going to go back to administration. And I'm not going to import this time. I'm going to upload. So I can actually name this thing anything I want to. But I'm going to name it PEI Radiology. And now I'm going to go look for that file on my desktop. PDI radiology. There it is right there. So that's the HTML file that I just downloaded. And I actually know that because it's got today's date and time on it as well. Okay. I'm going to upload that by clicking on upload. And now that is the first eForm I have in my eForms. So interesting note this page can be reorganized. Right now, 
it's organized by modified date. So the newest one is at the top. But I can almost I can also look at it and find the names and it'll go alphabetical for me, starting with numbers and then starting with letters. And over here, it's got a search function. So if I wanted to just look for my radiology of forms, there we go. Those are the radiology forms that I have in place. Okay, now I've uploaded the HTML, but I still need that picture. So now I need to go over to the image library and browse. And now I gotta go look for the image file. There it is. It says PEI X-ray. That's the image file that I need to add. And then I'll upload that. Now, let me just show you something. I'm actually going to delete that file because I want to show you what it looks like if you only uploaded half of it. So I'm just going to type PEI. There it is. That's the image file. I'm going to delete it. I'm going to go back to my eForm library. And I'm going to go to that PEI radiology form. And when I click on it, you can see here I've got this outline, but I don't have any picture here. I've got lots of buttons. I've got some boxes. I've got some text areas. But this form makes no sense because there's no picture. OK, now let's go back into the image library. Let's go back and look again for the PEI. You know, if I want to, instead of scrolling, if I know what the name is, let's type PEI. There it is. So there's PEI, the HTML file, and the JPEG file. So let's, let's click on the JPG file. Let's open that. And let's upload that. Okay. Now that's back in my, if I search for it, it'll be there. So I type PEI. There it is. It's in my image. So. Now let's go back to the eForm library. There's that PEI radiology. Now that I've got the image uploaded, when I click on this, ah, see, now there's a picture underneath all of those boxes. So now this form actually starts to make sense. And we can fill that out. And if we, if we actually open it up inside someone's chart, like a fake patient, I've got Rebecca Rabbit as a fake fake patient. So let's go and find Rebecca Rabbit. Sorry, not Rebecca, Jessica. There we go. Okay, Jessica. Let's have a look for that PEI radiology form in uh, the search box there, which Jill uh, likes to call the awesome box. There we go. It says PEI radiology. Let's see what we get when we click on that. All of a sudden, it's got my address, it's got Rebecca, and it's got a fake address for her and a fake phone number for her and a fake PHN number for her. All of that gets put in their date of birth. All the rest of that comes automatically into it. So we've imported an e-form two different ways, and it's now working in our system. Hope that was helpful for you. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to do some more of those for you in the future.